Time to play with some clay. Please like and subscribe. Click the little bell. Thank you. Well, today I'm going to be correcting the damage that I caused to her face. I don't know what I did, but I smashed that eye on the uh, right and uh, her nose. And so now I've got to uh, try to adjust all that and try to correct it. And I figured I'd just show it to you in real time. And that's basically what I'm going to do right now. It's really delicate work. You get, you, I'm trying to redo the eyelid that was uh, pushed in, and I'm using some of uh, tools by Ken'sTools.com to do that with. They're really small wire tools that are very helpful in doing this kind of uh, delicate work. These are rubber tipped tools. I think it's from Ken's Tools as well. What I'm trying to do is adjust the eyelid so that uh, the uh, depth of the eye from the, of the, well, it's, it's, I'm just trying to adjust it. <laughs> I can't. You can really see the, the damage to the right part of the right eye and to the right side of the uh, nose. I'm just trying to very delicately just rearrange the smash into something that's I had there in the first place some form and uh, anatomy that uh, I destroyed. I've uh, decided to show you the full video of this today, uh, mainly because I'm not going to uh, include this on my instructional DVDs on the creation of the man and the woman, only because I had to a video on creating the face in the first place and quite honestly after I got done working on her face it looked exactly like the face did before and I just couldn't see any reason to add more time to the DVDs I mean I've just got so much room on two DVDs to put all this stuff on and if I have to repeat then it just adds more time and takes up more space and people will start sleeping instead of watching. Anyway, I'm just trying to push her nose back into place here. And I have to rebuild the, the front of her nose.
you can see how deformed it was. Now I'm going to try to push the nose back into shape. It was pushed over a little bit. I'm using a silicone tip tool, which you can no longer buy. There are places on YouTube that uh, people that show you how to make silicone tip tools and give, they give you the uh, material that you need to do that with. And uh, if you go and do a little search, you'll be able to find all the information you need to do your own tools. And then you can make them to the way you like them. A lot of you are a lot younger than I am, and I've got uh, rather thick fingers, so it uh, you, you probably can get in and do things with your fingers that I can't with mine. That's why I use these uh, silicone tip tools. The clay is soft, and that's why it's so delicate. I mean, just if I was to breathe deep, it would cause a big dent in the clay. <laughs> you just got to really, really be careful and very, very delicately move little molecules of clay around. And that's all you're doing, basically. And I'm just trying to adjust the shape of her mouth. That wasn't damaged, it's just something I decided I needed to do. These little rubber tip tools are soft rubber and a, a uh, you can buy those online. I was becoming extremely satisfied with the way the face was turning out. And uh, I kind of surprised myself. I didn't know it would work out so well. This is a uh, painter's brush, an oil painter's brush that I've dipped into uh, a uh, Ronsonol lighter fluid to uh, help smooth out the clay a little bit. The Ronsonol for, has some kind of effect on the clay and it kind of melts it a little bit. Another oil painter's brush. You can get these from uh, used brushes from your artist friends who uh, do oil paintings because they wear out and they throw them away. And rather than throw it away, you can use it and save yourself about 20 bucks. All right, that's it. Give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time